Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. Pastor George is back with us today, and we're going to be having more word about our prosperity, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. prosperity. Glory to God. Everybody who will receive Jesus can have prosperity. That's right. That's absolutely right. Gloria. The blessing. The blessing is on us. The blessing is working in us. And uh, over these two weeks, we're talking about living in the overflow. I we're like living, living in a place of such abundance. More that we, than enough. More than enough. Yeah, that's the other subtitle that we gave. More than enough. And experiencing God in a way that we've never experienced before because He has so much more for us. Amen. I remember that there was a, a word from the Lord that Brother Copeland gave some years ago about all of heaven's reserves are available to us. But we have to take them. We have to possess them. And that's what he's desiring us first to do. And, and the, the foundation scripture for this was John 10, 10. Jesus came that we would have, now this is the amplified translation. We would have and enjoy life, have it in abundance to the full, to the full. until it overflows. Overflow, amen. And overflow, when, when you think about overflow, you get all kinds of pictures. You see like, you see a dam where the water's overflowing and you can just picture that overflow. Mm -hmm. In Psalm 23, it talks about my cup runs over. You know what I think about? Tell me. Niagara Falls. Oh, that's good. I like that. Have you seen Niagara Falls? I have been to Niagara Falls. Oh. Me too. That's exactly, that's exactly, that's a perfect, perfect description. And it just keeps going and going and going. <laughs> It really, Never thank stops. you. I, I've been actually looking for a great illustration for overflow and Niagara Falls does it. It yeah, really does. It does. You know, when I was there, I was there in 1978 at our victory campaign. That was the last I time. I if that's when I was there. I don't know. You were there. You were there at that one. And uh, Terry and I went to Niagara Falls and they have to give you these raincoats yeah. because as you, and you've been there. You've been to Niagara Falls. I think we all went together. And you have to put raincoats on because it's just so wet. It's, yeah. it's, it's the overflow and you're saturated. And that's what the overflow is. It's that's being, good. it's, oh, I got this. It's being saturated in the blessing. Amen. It's being more saturated, than enough. saturated in the more blessing than more than enough. It's being overwhelmed by the goodness of God. Yes. I think about how good God is and how much He's blessed us and how He has, He's taken me from, from step to step to step until now I'm in a place where I'm just constantly experiencing the, the goodness of God and the overflow of a God. A way of life. It becomes a way of life. It is, isn't it? It is. It's a way of life that you, you develop no and you fear. grow in. You don't have any fear. No fear whatsoever. And that we walk in a place of, of more it's more than paycheck to paycheck. Paycheck mm -hmm. to paycheck is no way to live. And so many people have been living that way. But I'm telling you today, your days of paycheck to paycheck are over. We are living in the overflow. We're living in the more than enough, the goodness of God. And Gloria, we talked about <clears throat> earlier this week, we talked about Galatians 3.13. It says that we've been redeemed from the curse of the law so that we can walk in the blessing of Abraham. Mm -hmm. And the curse of the law we found out was anything that has to do with spiritual death, sickness and disease, and lack of any kind. Poverty. Poverty. The blessing, on the other hand, has to do everything with spiritual life, health and deliverance, and uh, overflow, overflow, prosperity, abundance. Amen. That's what the blessing is all about. Hallelujah. And then you and I went over to Deuteronomy 28 and we talked, we read, read through Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14. That's the blessing of Abraham. And I so appreciate those scriptures and God giving us those scriptures because yeah. we've been redeemed from the curse and anything that has to do with lack is the curse. That's right. Anything that has to do with sickness is the curse. We've been redeemed from it. I like what you said a couple of days ago. We've been pardoned, yes. pardoned Amen. from the curse. Pardoned from the curse. We don't have to be Amen. in that, that place any longer. Hallelujah. And we can walk in the blessing of Abraham. And so Deuteronomy 28 is the blessing of Abraham. You're blessed coming in. You're blessed going out. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the field. And it tells us in verse 2 of, of Deuteronomy 28, all these blessings shall come on you and they'll overtake you. 
Yes. Well, we learn, Gloria, in, in Proverbs 10, 22, that the blessing of the Lord, it makes rich. Amen. And He adds no sorrow with it. We found out that the blessing was the first words that were spoken to mankind. God said to man, be fruitful, multiply. Yeah, multiply. And you know, I looked up one time. The earth. Replenish the earth, subdue it, have dominion over it, replenish the earth, replenish. That's part of the blessing. If, if it goes down, if, if the, the, the savings goes down or if anything happens to run out, we have the ability to speak the blessing over it and, and we will replenish the supply. That's good. I like that. We replenish yeah. the supply. The word there, subdue, I, I learned this some years ago. The word subdue means if it gets out of line, put it back. Amen. Yeah. That, that's all part of the blessing. Subdue. That's all part of the blessing. And then yesterday, Gloria, we talked about verse 11 of uh, Deuteronomy 28. The Lord shall make you plenteous in goods, or it says in the Amplified Classic, He'll give you a surplus Well, I was going to say, to me, plenteous says <clears throat> more than you need. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. just an abundance. <clears throat> it's an abundance. And it's more than you need. Ooh, I like it. It's the overflow. And today, Gloria, I want to look at Deuteronomy 28, 8. And you have, we did our outline a little bit differently. I have scriptures there, and you and I are going to go through these okay. scriptures together. But this really affected me. Deuteronomy 28, 8. And it says, it says, The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all you set your hand unto. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He shall bless you in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Our storehouse should be full. Our storehouses should be full. Yes, Hear absolutely. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, that you may increase mightily as the Lord God of thy fathers has promised thee. The Lord's promised it mm -hmm. in the land that <clears throat> floweth with milk and honey. Now that scripture there, Gloria, I, I was reading that Deuteronomy 28, 8, and it said, he'll bless you in the land, in the land. And I kept thinking about that, the, the land that overflows. And I started up, I started looking up these scriptures. Mm -hmm. you, you read the first one, started looking up these scriptures about the land and about what happens what happens in that land, that land that overflows? And you read it here. It said that you may increase mightily in the Deuteronomy 6, 3. I really like that phrase, that it may be well with thee, that you may increase mightily. Mightily. Now, Not a I, little bit. I, I, I don't mightily. know how many, I don't know how many times I've read that scripture, but the other day as I was reading it, those two words, increase mightily, just jumped out at me. And we have a promise of it, apparently. We do, to increase mightily. Yeah. And then it says, as the Lord God of thy fathers has promised thee in the land that flows mm -hmm. with milk and honey. Praise now let's just, let's just camp on that for just okay. a moment. A land that flows with milk and honey. That's a picture of Canaan land yeah. that, that the Lord was taking them out of the land of Egypt they went through the wilderness and they ended up in Canaan land. Canaan land is a type of the, the New Testament blessing that we're walking in. What happened in that land is available to us. So the first thing that I saw that was happening was it was a land that flowed with milk and honey. Abundance. That's abundance. Mm -hmm. that, that milk and honey is representative of everything that flowed. we need. And it said it flowed, mm -hmm. it flowed. And as I meditated on that glory and thought about it, I thought my, my, my life is flowing. There's a flowing, there's a, there's a increase, there's an abundance, there's a Niagara if said, Falls. If you said a stream uh, is flowing. Yes. There'd be an abundance of water that didn't quit. It didn't, it doesn't, quit. oh, doesn't that's quit. good. It won't quit. It, it's a non-stop, continual yeah, non -stop. flow. non-stop, that's a good way non -stop. to say Non-stop, it. it doesn't quit. Praise God. It doesn't God. quit. It's like, it's like a downpour, the rain that just keeps coming and coming and coming and it's beginning to fill up everything around it. That's a picture of the blessing. That's right. And it is a land, the Lord said, I will bless you in the land 
that I give you. Now, the you, one thing that was necessary <clears throat> yeah. was obedience. That's so the key. So that stops, that will, disobedience will stop the flow. Right. But disobedience as as will stop, oh, that's good, Gloria. You'll be in the flow. Disobedience stops the flow. Mm -hmm. If you be willing and obedient, you will do what? You'll eat the good of the land. And I guess willing, you could say, uh, that is indicative of attitude. Oh, well, that's, that's a good way to put it. Attitude. <laughs> yeah, attitude, willing. I'm willing to do that. Uh -huh, a willingness uh -huh. to do that. <laughs> So that was, that was one scripture that the Lord gave me, Gloria, that first of all, we are to increase mightily. There seems to be a difference between just increasing and increasing mightily. Oh, yeah. Massive. You've, everybody's had both of those. At least everybody's <laughs> had little to, you know, I remember when we were kids, we didn't have an abundance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, our parents didn't have an abundance. Yep, that's right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Jelly bean, okay. <laughs> Keith, Keith Moore it's, has talked about this. He's, he's preached along these lines. And he talks about the God of too much. And we'll talk about that later on. Yeah. But he, he talks about how uh, he preached about that. And evidently a, a little boy heard it. And his parents told this testimony that when the little boy came home, they gave him some milk and cookies. And he sat there and he went, too much milk. Too, yeah, too many, many cookies, cookies. too remember. much milk, yeah. too many cookies. And that's a picture of what God wants to do for us. I remember that now. Yeah. So it's a land. When God says he'll bless you in the land, that means he'll bless you wherever you are. Now, let me give you a, let me give you a, uh, a challenge here. I, I w let me present this theory to you, Gloria, okay. that you can, it doesn't matter where you live, that's right. you can prosper. It doesn't matter what the economic condition is of that area. If you are a believer who stands and believes in the blessing of God and the blessing of Abraham. And you're a tither. And you're a tither, exactly. And you're, you have tithers rights. You can prosper wherever you are. That's right. Case in point, Pastor David Oyedipo. Yes. In Nigeria. Isn't that amazing? I, I want to go there. I need to see that. It is and just so <laughs> awesome. He has a church that seats, let's see, it seats, the church seats 50,000, and then there's overflow. Then there's and overflow. There's, and yeah. then there's the balcony. <laughs> Gloria, 50,000 seats is not enough. No. It's not enough to hold the five when we services. we were there, there were 10,000 people in every direction in the seats, 10,000 here, 10,000 here, 10,000 here, 10,000 here. And then there were 10,000 in the balcony. And then when church, they couldn't all get in. So when church was over yeah. on the way home, the, the uh, grounds in the front were full of people. They couldn't get in. So they have huge screens wow. and speakers out there because they can't get the people in that 50,000 seat auditorium. That's overflow. Or 50,000. It's either 50. <clears throat> I think it's, it's 5,000, uh, I mean, uh, 10,000 in yeah, every direction right. and 10,000 in the balcony. So yeah. 50,000. 50,000. And, and, and they couldn't all get in. And they have to have an overflow. Yeah. And the overflow is massive. And it, what it's saying is the building, building can't contain it. And you know what they preached? They preached the Word of God. Well, they preached, they preached the, the, the revelation came they, from reading your book on God's will is prosperity. They got, a, got insight into prosperity. Into it. I, I think I, think I need God. to read your book again. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and get a revelation about but that. But it, it so stirs you to see that many people hungry for the yeah. Word of God, clamoring for the Word of God. Yep. Yeah. Well, Sunday after Sunday after, after Sunday. Sunday. And now they're building a 100,000 seat auditorium. I don't, yeah, and I don't know where they are on that, but that's what's happening. Well, evidently they have and the they'll money. they'll get it done. They've got the money in the bank. How big a building would that, that be? Oh, that's massive. <laughs> you it's, talk about a sound system. <laughs> <laughs> Mercy. That's right, what a sound we'll have to go over there take. and see it. But you know, the, the, the whole point about uh, it being blessed in the land, they carved out a piece of Nigeria. Jungle. It, a jungle. Yeah. Yeah. And it's called Canaan land. Yeah. And, and right, it is Canaan land. It now. is Canaan land. <laughs> right in the middle of a jungle, 
right in the middle of a, a place of poverty, mm -hmm. there was a revelation that came. And when a revelation comes, it doesn't matter what's going on around it. The revelation will overcome the destination. The Amen. revelation will overcome whatever area they're and that in. That revelation of the word has prospered the people when That's they right. didn't have anything. And that revelation will change. Like if if a person is in a poverty-stricken area, that blessing will change that area. Yeah, that's right. You think about you think about Isaac, and what he did when he sowed in famine. Sowed in the yeah. There was a tremendous famine, famine in the land, but he was blessed in the land. He was blessed right where he was. Famine didn't have anything to do with him. No, it didn't. It didn't touch him. Because the blessing was on him and on his crop. Yeah. And, and originally, uh, Isaac was going to leave. He was going to go down to Egypt. And the Lord said, no, you stay right where you are. What was the Lord saying? I need you here for this blessing to operate. Praise and God. he had a hundredfold return in that time. And the people, well, Kenneth has preached this. He was the richest man in the world. Isaac was the richest man yeah. in the world. And he was blessed in the land. So the point being is no matter where we are, That's right. we carry- Even in the jungle. Even in the jungle, worked. we carry the blessing with us. And the blessing is overflow. It is yeah. overflow. It's yeah. a land that flows with milk and honey. Yeah. Praise God. Let's look at this okay. scripture on point C. By the way, all of our outlines that we're teaching from on this series are available to you right now. Just go to our website, kcm.org. Go to the picture of glory and me, click on it. And these you can download and all of them, all of the uh, outlines that we've done together can be downloaded. So That would be quite a lot. How many? That we're, we're up to 320. I think this is our 324 fourth day, something like that <laughs> right now. And wow. so here's Deuteronomy 6, 10 and 11. And it shall be when the Lord thy God shall have brought thee into the land, which he swore unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give you, now here we go, this is what's okay. available to us, okay. great and goodly cities which you, which you built not, and houses full of good Whoa. things which you filled not and wells dug, which you dug not. Now you left out a word which one? from what I've got. What did I leave you out? You said houses. Uh, houses full. Of good things. Good. Oh, did I leave that out? You left good. Whew, good good things. things. I think you did. Good things. Houses full of good, good things. Good things. Oh, yes. Which you filled, now, uh, filled not, and wells dug, that you dug not, and vineyards and olive trees, which you planted not. When you, and then it goes on to talk about when you shall have eaten and you be full, mm -hmm. you be full. Yeah. This is talking about overflow in the land. And I just looked plenty. at these. Talking about plenty. In the land, it said, he'll give you great and goodly cities which you did not build. Praise God. The Lord, the Lord will give us things that we did not have to build. Labor. Labor, yeah. You didn't have to labor to do it. We labored. People, you would labor in your faith in the spirit. Yeah. Labor in the spirit. Yeah, not, exactly. Not hammering, hammering it. <laughs> but but the things that he gives you things that you didn't that you didn't build. That's right. He will. It says houses full of good things which you did not fill. Praise God. Wells dug that you did not dig. Vineyards and olive trees that you did not plant. Mm -hmm. Those things are all available to us. And that's what the Lord said. The blessing of overflow is in the land. It's in the land. Let's look at this next one. Um, For the Lord thy God brings you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and depths that spring out of valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranates. That's, that's abundance. A fruitful land. A fruitful land, a land of oil, olive and honey, a land wherein you shall eat bread without scarceness. Mm -hmm. Plenty of bread. Plenty and of you shall not lack anything in it. Praise God. Now that's powerful right that there. Is no God. lack whatsoever, only overflow. No lack. We are living in a land like that. You and I, we're living in that Praise land God. of blessing. Yes. A land whose stones are iron and out of whose hills you may dig brass. When you've eaten and you're full, then you shall bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he has given to you. Praise That's a God. land of overflow. Full. When you've eaten. Yep. And are full. And are full. 
When you're full, Gloria, what, what do you say when they offer you dessert? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> I say, I say, I, I would say no thank you <laughs> as well. No, but you get to a point, sometimes you get so full. I mean, I know. I, I just can't take it I anymore. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> it's too much. I can't contain it. That's right. And I know that we've had the Christmas dinners that we have at your house, the Christmas Eve dinners. We come dinners. to that point. Oh in the my. natural. I come to your house hungry. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> I skip lunch because I know that there's going to be a feast at the Copeland house and we all get in the kitchen and all the grandkids and the kids Everybody's cooking. and we are loading our plates and then we go back and load it again and then we load it one more time. Nobody, we should not ever be on a diet on that day. <laughs> and then there's, there's a time when you say, I'll just tell you this real quick. I was, I, we were having a Christmas dinner and they had a selection of pies and Gloria, I had to repent because I don't do this anymore. But I was, I, this was back when I was eating a lot of that stuff. And so there was a selection of about eight pies and I took a slice of each and I made my own pie. You couldn't make up your mind, I know. <laughs> I made my own pie. And after I ate, I was, I was so full. It was like, no, I can't even look at food. Well, that's the fullness that God wants to bless us with. Right. Not necessarily cool. a lot of pie, cool. but but the goodness Complete. of God. So we've got, what did he say, 30 seconds? 30 seconds left. All right, let's look at Leviticus 25. This will be our last scripture. No, I'll jump to Leviticus 26. I'll Go read this George. to you. Go, George. <clears throat> I will send you rain in its season, and the ground will yield its crops, and the trees of the field their fruit. Your threshing will continue until the grape harvest, and the grape harvest will continue until planting. Continual harvest, in other <clears throat> Continual words. harvest, that's yeah. it. Yeah. And you will eat all the food you want and live safely in your land, you'll still be eating last year's harvest when you'll have to move it out and make, make room, room for, for nor, new. New. Isn't that, <laughs> new. Good? that I like it. That is the overflow. Amen mm -hmm. and amen. Praise <laughs> amen. God. <laughs> and then uh, subdue, where, let's see, subdue. Surplus is abundance. Surplus, it is abundance. More surplus, than more than enough. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. I like That's it. where we live. Amen. George and I will be right back. We hope you enjoyed today's teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And remember, Jesus is Lord.